Here at ZMAX Dragway with Ron Caps talking about four wide, four wides coming up here at ZMAX Dragway. Uh, one of the things, Ron, that we've talked about um, uh, on the straight line many of times, four wide is really cool to see four nitro powered cars going down the track. But let's back up just a second. When you go through the water box and do that burnout, there's not one opponent, but three. Take us through how that works in a four wide event. It's, uh, it's mayhem, to be honest with you, because we get here and it's year to year and it's the only time of the year that we do it. So you just try to, everything's trying to be timed so that you're not holding somebody up or you're not too early. And what I mean by that, I mean firing the car, doing the burnout. We only have a certain amount of time that we have to do all that, a certain amount of fuel. So it, it, it just creates a different atmosphere and it really, I gotta tell you, there's no other track that after the first round of qualifying on Friday, you see drivers at the other end, me and Force and Hagen or whoever may out giggling and laughing and high-fiving. <laughs> it just never happens and it always happens at the four wide. But it's, it's the funniest part to me is after doing the burnout, like you said, and you roll up and get ready to stage, usually the crew chief will make the adjustment of the fuel system. He'll point at me in the windshield, go get him, kid, or whatever he's going to say, and he'll walk away. Well, here, they've got to stop and raise their hand and look around to make sure the other crew chiefs are ready. And when they're all ready and all the hands are raised, then they'll make an adjustment and walk away. And I call it the crew chief dance. And it's funny to watch because I'm, I'm picturing a ballet song and they're all doing this and looking around. They look, <laughs> I've never seen my crew chief in such a panic look. And, it, and they all have it at the four wide. And it gets better over the weekend, but Friday is always amusing for us drivers. And, and Ron Tobler, being one of the coolest guys out there, I, uh, you couldn't tell if somebody just kicked his dog or if, if it's his birthday. I mean, if it's, he is pretty straight down the, down the middle. But boy, you bring him out here and it's, it is chaos, isn't it? I guaranteed everybody's, not only their resting heart rates are up <laughs> for the four wide, but their heart rate period. It's just, it brings that all out. And I, I'm sure it does for the fans as well. It doesn't come across on TV as well. Hopefully they can find a way to make that a little better this year. Um, it's tough with four cars to concentrate. But for the fans live, uh, I crawled up in the grandstands uh, the second or third year. I lost early in the day and I went up in the grandstands and watched. And when they did the burnouts, the four cars, I had hair on my neck standing up. And then I got ready for the run like I was a little kid. I couldn't wait to watch them come down all four together. And so then I got it. This is why people come from all over the world to this race. Staging procedure, it was a little bit confusing at first. They've kind of streamlined it a little bit. And, if you're, and your cars have also improved. Um, the Dodge Chargers before were a little bit hard to see out of. Now they're a little, as I understand it, a little bit easier to, to be, be able to see the Christmas trees. But it's still a little bit confusing. Tell us how that, because sometimes you're looking across the lanes where, you're don't, where you don't normally look. I'll tell you, first of all, my crew chief, every run, and I think most of them do, one of the last things, instead of just pointing at me, he will remind me, you're in lane two or you're in lane three, because what happens is you can be in either side of that one Christmas tree on either lane one or two or lane three. It's very easy to get off, even now. And you may laugh thinking, why does the crew chief have to tell me what lane I'm in? <laughs> well, it matters. The very first year, the very first run of four wide, it was me, John Forrest, I forget whoever else it was. We rolled up pre-stage. Nobody wants to hold each other up. John Forrest takes forever to stage normally. So we all get up there, pre-stages all come on. All right, great. We pull the fuel pump, we start bumping it in. Mine goes on, the other car goes on. Another car, one guy sits there, there's nobody's stage light coming on. 1,001, you have seven seconds to get stage. All of a sudden, our greens come on, that lane's red lit. We go down the track, we get out the other end. We get out and we jump out and everybody's on edge anyway. Force gets out and he wants to fight. Who was taking so long? And the track guy came up and said, that was you. <laughs> well, that's how crazy it can get. Yeah. And what happened that weekend, he went on to win that weekend. Yeah. And uh, so it just goes to tell you, it's just a matter of getting used to that light, but it can get crazy. And um, can you feel from behind the wheel the energy of those other three cars? Uh, I, I know that you can see in, uh, in in another lane, but can you once though now that you have three opponents, can you feel that energy within uh, inside the car? Well, last year was a prime example. Um, we would have got into the final round, uh, turned into a pedal fest. 
Now, Sunday, even if the other guy in your lane next to you is long gone, you're not out of it because if it's a semis of the first round, you can qualify into the final. The top two get in. So the guy in my lane had taken off, but you don't know what's going on in the other two lanes. And that's where it gets tricky. So you got to do whatever you can to beat the other two lanes. You don't know if they're in trouble. Well, I'm pedaling mine, pedaling mine. It's all over the place. The last pedal, it came over and just touched with the rear of the body, the wall, which disqualified me. I didn't know I had, but I kept going and got it through the finish line. Well, they came back and actually sent somebody on the track to look, and they had a very small mark that it made. But I was disqualified. And then, to make matters worse, when I got out, they told me at the top end for the TV interview that had I not touched the wall, I would have been the second quickest. They were in more trouble than I was, believe it or not, and I would have got into the final round. And that's just part of what the four wide's all about. You just don't know what's going on in those other two lanes. Yeah. Driver of the Napa Dodge, Don Schumacher Racing. Ron Caps joining us here at Z Max Dragway. Good luck in the four wides. Thank you.